Welcome adventure seekers. Today we are biking the Arnal Volcanoes 1968 Lava Flow Trail. This trail is located in La Fortuna, Costa Rica. We did this tour through Bike Arnall, which picked us up and drove us to the National Park. We were the only two who chose to do the mountain biking tour. It seems that the cycling tour is a lot more popular. Our guide explained to us that our trip would be about nine miles and could take up to four hours. It did not end up taking us that long. Our adventure begins as we pedal through the picturesque farmland surrounding the Arnall Volcano. The double track trails wind through lush green fields, offering a glimpse into the rural life of Costa Rica. The name of this tour holds a special significance tied to the history of the Arnall Volcano. In 1968, the volcano experienced a major eruption that lasted for several days, reshaping the landscape around it. As we ride through the single and double track trails, we are not just experiencing the beauty of the Arnall Volcano, but also the resilience of nature and the transformative power of volcanic activity. It's a reminder of the ever-changing nature of our planet and the importance of preserving these natural wonders for the future generations to enjoy. The transformation from farmland to jungle is seamless as we enter the single track trails. The dense canopy overhead creates a tunnel of greenery and the sounds of the jungle surround us, creating a truly immersive experience. Riding through the jungle is an exhilarating experience with narrow trails that twist and turn, keeping us on our toes. The lush vegetation and diverse wildlife make this part of the tour truly unforgettable. One of the key differences in mountain biking etiquette between Costa Rica and the United States is how riders approach riding through the mud. In the U.S., the general rule is to avoid muddy trails to prevent the trail damage and erosion. However, in Costa Rica, where the rain is more common and trails can be muddy year-round, the approach is a bit different. In Costa Rica, riders are more accustomed to riding through the mud and often they embrace the challenge as part of the adventure. However, when I had to go through the muddy patches, it hurt my heart and I felt like I was doing something wrong. Be careful because it's the most difficult. Okay. It's short, but it's the most difficult. Okay. Our guide pulled us over and told us that the trail ahead is steep and technical, requiring full concentration. Despite the challenge, we were eager to take it on and test our skills. As we began our descent, the adrenaline was pumping and we were fully focused on the trail ahead. However, not everything went to plan. Caroline lost control on a particularly muddy section and took a spill. Thankfully, she was okay thanks to her protective gear and quick reflexes. Despite the setback, we continue on our journey, taking on the remaining trails with renewed focus and determination. The experience serves as a valuable lesson in resilience and the importance of pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone. Mountain biking in Costa Rica offers a vastly different experience compared to biking in the United States. The terrain here is more rugged and varied, with the challenging single and double track trails that meander through dense jungles, 
across rivers and around volcanic oh. landscapes. I was determined to not get my shoes wet until we came to this part of the trail. <laughs> Did not last. Unlike the well-groomed trails often found in the U.S., Costa Rica's mountain biking trails can be more technical. This adds an element of adventure and excitement to the ride, as every new turn presents a challenge and opportunity to explore the natural beauty of the country. Another key difference is the climate. Costa Rica's tropical climate means that riders can expect to encounter rain, mud, and humidity, adding an additional layer of difficulty to the ride. However, it also means that the landscapes are lush and vibrant, providing a stunning backdrop for your mountain biking adventure. Once you've made it through all of the streams, mud, and pastures, yeah. the Bike r &L team will be waiting for you with some snacks and cervezas. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Gracias!